speaker for 17 years. And when I come out to the audience, I'm not exactly easy on the eyes. You know, I, I got a face for radio, and I've never been able to overcome that challenge until Gizmology, when I learn very easily how to podcast my message so that my fans can still hear from me via audio, but they don't have to look at me. It's the best thing I've ever done for my business. Hi, I'm on hold with some new website called Amazon. My book is on back order, again. You know, when I received the Gizmology Flyer, I was a little intimidated. I'm not exactly on board with this whole technology thing. You know, Joe and I just got caller ID for our home phone. I still like to rock out on my Walkman when I go for a run, and my kids use the Yellow Pages to crank call people. But I learned a few simple techniques at Gizmology to create a little buzz around my book. Sold so many copies, I just might reward myself and buy one of those new um, DVD players. I'm an electrical consultant, a lover of technology, and a real supporter of gizmos, gadgets, and geeks. I was very skeptical on how Gizmology was going to challenge my high-tech cranium, but after attending, I was so powerfully charged by Ford Sakes' secret tips on Google search. After implementing those tips, I'm now showing up on Google before Albert Einstein and Thomas Edison. <laughs> It's Mystic Mona, and just as I foretold 30 years ago, Gizmology brought great fortune to speakers, authors, consultants, and more. But for those unfortunate souls that did not attend, they're living empty lives. We can't even find them on Google. They're not showing up on Facebook, nor are they linked into any of the social media sites. I can't even find them in my crystal ball. They must be 